we're going to talk about what to eat before a baseball game to have peak performance and dominate during that game. Here's a great question for you. Hey coach, I've been wondering, where are some good nutritious foods that you can eat before a game or just in general? That's a great, great question. Thank you so much for that question. If you guys think that eating good before your game is important, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. If you don't care and you eat Snickers bars or whatever chocolate and candy before your games and you still ball out, go ahead and give me a thumbs down. Let me know I'm dumb. No matter what you just hit, go ahead and smash that subscribe button and click the bell notification right next to it if you want to be a better baseball player because I upload videos every single day on telling you what I know about how to be a better baseball player. Then go leave me a comment. Let me know that you subscribed and ask me any questions that you got about baseball down there in the comments below and I'll be happy to answer them. Now, we're going to talk about three things when it comes to what to eat before a baseball game. First, I'm going to tell you what I used to eat before a baseball game. Second, I'm going to tell you some good examples because I've grown and I've learned and I and I know more things now. And then three, I'm going to tell you the real answer to the question. We're not going to get into that right now. So what did I used to eat before a baseball game to give me the most energy and, and have, give me that feeling that I was ready to go out there and work and dominate during that game? I'm going to go not just right before the game, but I always started the day before, the night before, okay? Really the night before. Um, obviously, I try to eat clean the day before, but the night before was very important for me. And I always got, for some reason, you know, baseball players are superstitious, but I always got chicken parmesan. And the reason why I like chicken parmesan was because I had that big piece of protein, the chicken, right? And then you also had the pasta, right? And the pasta was the carbs. And I always felt when I had like a good dinner, not like, I wouldn't like crush chicken parm. Like I wouldn't do like all you can eat chicken parm. I would just have a nice big serving of chicken parm. Okay. One big piece of chicken and, you know, a bunch of, you know, a handful of uh, pasta with the red sauce, some meat sauce, um, however you like to make it. Um, and that, that pasta, those carbs kind of gave me that energy going forward. The, the protein helped as well. It's just something that made me feel really good for that next day. I felt fueled up. Okay. Now, the day of the game. I used to like to eat light. I didn't want to eat too heavy. Anytime I ate too heavy, I always felt sluggish, okay? So fueling your body is very important. You need to eat and you need to eat good. But for me, too much was bad. So I always wanted to go very light. What I did, again, I'm very superstitious. I don't know. I Again, I've, I've learned a lot since this time. But what I used to eat was I would go get a Slim Fast bar, okay? Then I would put, you know, it was kind of like a... I don't want to say Rice Krispie Treat because that's that's not what Slim Fast is. You know, it's supposed to be a healthy version. Um, and then it ha had some like fake chocolate on top. And then I would put peanut butter on top of that and I would eat that. Then I would get some fruit and vegetables. So I would get some like uh, uh, like mixed fruit thing. Um, and then I would get some vegetables, whether it be celery or uh, carrots or a salad, whatever it was. And then I would just eat that slowly up until the time of the game. Now, during the game, I found that bagels were great. So I would always have a bagel um, in there just chilling maybe with some cream cheese, light cream cheese. And then I, if I got hungry, like in between innings, I'd just take a bite of it. Okay. So that's what I used to fuel myself. Again, I would drink uh, pre-workout or not pre-workout, excuse me, an energy drink. Um, I was big on rock stars. I'm still big on rock stars, even though I know they're horrible for you, but that gave me that energy going into the game, you know, and I didn't, didn't like to overdo it. I didn't like to feel that jittery. So sometimes I wouldn't even finish it. I would just get to a point where I felt good enough and then I'd, I'd stop drinking that. Now for the second part of this, I'm going to tell you some good foods that you could eat. Okay. Do as I say, not as I do. I think the idea behind the Chicken Parmesan was great. So anything that night before you can eat with a little bit of carbs, I think that's going to be good. Carbs and protein, just a little bit of carbs, a little bit of protein. I think that's a great way to go. It doesn't have to be chicken parm. Um, could be anything. Could be, uh, uh, I don't know, steak and pasta. Could be, uh, uh, I don't know, it does, you know, whatever. A little bit of protein, a little, little bit of pasta, a little bit of carbs, okay? Just to give you that energy for the next day. Um, before the game, I, I'm huge now on vegetables so salad maybe a chicken salad something like that not not too heavy again not too light um, broccoli is a good one i didn't like proteins too much beforehand because sometimes i would get that acid feeling um in me if i had too much meat so like i'd be out there pitching and i feel very acidic you know so i i, I really recommend the greens and staying light before the game again some kind of carb like a bagel uh during maybe you got a store uh 
Maybe you have like a store, a grocery store that sells those that fresh made bread. Maybe you do that. Maybe you do a sandwich. You know, a sandwich might not be a bad thing to consume before a game. Whatever it is, just try to be healthy with it. Which brings me to number three, the third part of this video, and it's know yourself. You have to know yourself because you know what fuels you the best, right? You know what kind of foods give you the energy and when you crash afterwards or you crash before. So just know yourself and understand what works for you and then try to be consistent with that, okay? Thanks again for the question. Now we're going to do the 100,000 subscriber giveaway uh, where I pick a winner when we get to 100,000 subscribers. Currently, we're at right around 75,000. Um, there's two ways to get your name on a sheet of paper and into here. The first is you can send me a video of your question. And if I use it in a YouTube video to answer it, your name's going to go on here and you're going to get in here for a chance to win. Uh, first of all, what are you going to win? You can win anything that is for sale on my website, whether it be a, one of these shadow boxes. You're not going to get the jerseys in here, but an empty shadow box, brand new, um, king of the hill, leg drive trainer, one of the mini wiffle ball pitching machines, whatever it is for sale on my website, you can pick. If you win, you get to pick what you want. The second way to get your name into the bucket here is going to be to answer the trivia question that I got for you right now. And the question is, what is my Snapchat score? So if you don't know, if you're not following me on Snapchat, go over there, follow me, and then let me know my Snapchat score. Now I know this changes all the time, so I'm gonna go within 100 points. So if you can get it within 100 points, I'm gonna pick a random winner who's within 100 points on my Snapchat score, and you are gonna be entered into the contest to win whatever you want. So again, you have to be subscribed on the YouTube channel to even get your name on a sheet of paper. So make sure you are subscribed and I'll see you guys in the next video. Go ahead and send your video questions to yougoprobaseball at gmail.com.